Hi guys, I'm going to try and tell you and show you off the movements of a new puzzle that I received during the week. This is the Crenel puzzle designed by Gregory Benedetti. It's one of the new old school puzzles that I reviewed the first two a few weeks ago. Amazingly made by Eric Fuller and uh, Eric said this was quite a challenge to make and I can understand why and you'll understand why when I show you the, the format of the pieces. It looks like a six-piece burr, but believe me, it's not a six-piece burr by any normal understanding. This is made in purple heart and is absolutely stunningly finished. Uh, it doesn't work like any normal six-piece burr. Uh, it's much looser than most of Eric's puzzles, but that's required to allow the pieces to slide properly. The first thing you, you notice is that pieces will move in a coordinate motion like that. If you look inside, you can see there's a diagonal piece and then that slides forward and there are dead ends in it but if you do that this piece now slides again in another coordinate motion allowing that to come forward and we have another dead end nothing comes apart we need a very fancy coordinate motion over here to do that and the whole thing splits into two pairs of three pieces. I'll put that one down to start with like that. This one's quite unstable and you can see there's an amazingly made diagonal piece there and these two also look fairly complex. The other pair of pieces doesn't just fall apart, it requires a sideways move and a downwards move and out to reveal another even more complex piece and then these two as well really complex. Now if you've managed to take it apart I would hope that you've paid enough attention to be able to put it back together again. It's not going to fall apart on you but you might need help putting it back together. So what you need is first of all to make the complex uh, pair, take the one with the big rectangular hole in it and the one with the diagonal hole in it and put those together like that, they'll eventually slide like that. Take the solid one, turn it on its side so you can see the diagonal slot, feed it in, up and everything slides together until it's locked together and that can be stored as a little tripod for the moment. With these, take the solid piece with the diagonal slots and put that that way. And then what you're going to want to do is take the one again with the solid rectangular hole cut out and that little piece there, point it upwards and slot it into there. This will now go into there. Find a way to hold it, it's quite awkward. And then find the right way to put these together, the diagonal slot over there. Can you see that? Yeah. Should be parallel to the other diagonal slot. And you put them together like that and slide it forward. At a certain point when sliding it forward, that one should move. And then, if you've got it right, which I haven't, let's try and get that one apart again. Done it again. Keep doing this during the filming. Put that down. Put those back. Once you've got the got it sliding together properly. Then that should slide forward. That will free that to capture this one and then put that back together. And there you have the new old school number five Crenel. Absolutely fabulous puzzle. Whilst I'm at it I'll show you another puzzle that I received this time from Brian Menold. This is the, the one slide plank 
and it's a beautifully made coordinate motion puzzle. You can see if I grab it right and pull, then that just comes apart, revealing some stunning pieces, which are quite fun to put back together again, especially if you've forgotten how to do it, how it came apart. It only goes back together one way, and as long as you can work out which way it goes, then it's not usually too much of an issue. As you can see, that piece looks like it goes there, but there's nowhere for this one, so I've not put that together correctly. Let's try and slot that into there, and now we have a place where that will go. Sliding this apart up to about there, feeding this on. Just got to get it just right, and it slides back together. Absolutely stunning. And in the background, you have three packing puzzles that I have reviewed recently. Hope that's interesting to you guys. See you again soon. Bye now.